Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh? You can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm... Well... Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you... Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know... I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> I love my coloring book. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? This is Popsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Later. 
before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I choose my soft and beautiful unicorn. Perfect. You can never go wrong with a magical unicorn. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> ah, and so you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No. But I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. Oh, oh please don't fall, don't fall. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry, you can trust me. Okay, thank you. Ugh, it smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that price. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> this is where I saw a really cute fox. I call him Benjamin. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. I think he's really cute. Please, Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. This pool smells like a toilet. <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> this is where daddy often sleeps. Daddy? Damn it, I never get to pet the sweet animals. 
So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. <gasps> I saw a monster! What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> a lot of sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. I'll set it free so we can go to the party. What party? The puppy is obviously going to a sweet party. It, it has a party hat. Ah, yes, the party. I heard George is having one. This must be his dog. So are we going? Yes, why not? It's just a bit farther ahead. Come on, puppy, let's go party. Hey, puppy, that's yucky. Don't eat the vomit. Yikes forever. Let's see what came out. I see a lot of glitter and... Is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Oh, puppy, I'm petting you. Why do you let me? You like me? So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step 
closure to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes. That too. Sweet. Let's go then. Come on, puppy. <laughs> Puppy, what are you doing? Did you find a treasure? You seem to have found the secret of the beach. The beach has a secret? Yes. Let's have a look. Oh, look! A fortune treat and a doggy cookie. One for me and one for Puppy. Isn't it perfect? Yes, but you can only take one. A cookie for you, or a treat for the dog. I'll take the doggy treat and use it to make the doggy love me. <laughs> Here you go, puppy. You never know when it's your last treat. <laughs> will make George really upset. Yeah, I hope I get to meet the puppy again sometime. I bet you will. Mr. Voice, why does everyone leave me? I'm still here. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same line to the eternal happiness? Yes, yes it is. Ah, oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes, I mean if you want to. No, I don't want to get in trouble. And I really want to dance at the party. All right then. Boat. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Ah, <sighs> oh, a fish. What should we do about it? I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo, and he needs a new place to stay. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> and here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. Just don't mention the puppy like we discussed earlier. Yes, okay. I'll just dance. Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party! Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? I don't know anything about any puppy, but I was promised a party. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, misfortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, misfortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. 
I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to you! Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. The trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Everything began with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. Everything began. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. <sighs> Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. Wait, I recognize that black tail. It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. No, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello, is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh no, don't go! Oh. <sighs> what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> oh, it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, okay. It doesn't look that magical. Just wait until you go inside. <laughs> oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. Sparkles? Ah, cool. So, whenever you're ready. Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. That was no echo. It was me. You're a real comedian, Miss Fortune. Thank you. What? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. What's this? A hamster party? A magical hamster party. I know you love parties. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Let's go find out. Are you going to do something about it? Don't 
like you adorable things, you have to kiss and make up. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. Oh, are those mints? Maybe I should try one so I can keep my breath fresh. I'm a little lady, you know. Wow, I'm feeling really nice. And I'm into refreshment at all. <laughs> Are you all right, Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Check that lady out. I think she's in trouble. Oh, no. I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes. Looks like she was robbed. Oh, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, damn it. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Excuse me, do you need assistance? No? Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. I wonder what this button does. <laughs> Another bounce. Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that slingshot. Okay. Oh, look. I use these acorns as ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know, thank you. That was close. Almost there. Fail. <laughs> Did I hit it? Oh, sorry.
Hey, you, on the other side of the screen. Listen, I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. <laughs> oh, Miss Fortune, you made it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know. Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Look, a missing kid. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Really? Yes. All right, then. <laughs> Magoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right. I can't wait. <laughs> Look, it's Benjamin from the Hoots in the Woods. <laughs> you know? If you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't go! Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. <laughs> Fortune. What? Language. Ah. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Voice! Oh, well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make Mummy proud. Yes. Look at the seagull. It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's that? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. Remember that fish you picked up earlier? You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm. 
I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do, I guess. If you want a fish friend forever, you need to find your own. Rodrigo is my responsibility. That's very mature of you, Miss Fortune. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Look at me. I'm on the horse. Aye, horsey. Stop it. Oh. Oh. Ah, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So, you know what I mean. <laughs> Check out that duck. Let's just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. And look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? Of course. Check this out. Unfortunate. What are you talking about? That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Would you like to ride this one? It's like a tornado. <laughs> yes, I want to ride. No, misfortune. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Mmm, apple pie. What are you talking about, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Ah, I can almost feel the eternal happiness. Good. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? No, never. Never? Good for you. Second question. Are you happy right now? Well, not really. Many things make me sad. That's why I want the prize so much. Then I can stop pretending I'm always happy. Ah, I see. Well then, the last question. Do you feel loved? No, but my unicorn is telling me that I should work on it. I bet everyone will love me if I was a unicorn. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Ooh. 
ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Yes, where is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. I have to dig in a grave? Which one? I'll give you a hint. It's where the goldfish is buried. The goldfish, all right. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. No, use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Ah, that shovel, okay. This one says. Ugh, smells like hot dogs. I guess it's not the fish. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> Queen, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good, I got this. It says, Paul died doing what he loved. It's in full. Ew, yikes forever. Ah, uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Ah, uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ha. Huh. I don't get it. Ah, uh, no prize in here. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations, Miss Fortune. You found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. Is this the prize? But there's only a note. What? Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Signed, Benjamin. It didn't. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. <gasps> Look, there he is. Benjamin, did you steal my eternal happiness? Not cool. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run after him. We can't let the fox get away again. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah, you're imagining things. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. Oh, she 
pick up this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Maybe it works somewhere else. There's nothing here. Nothing at all. Aha, there. That hole looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes, don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. You sound very sure. I'll trust you. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself. And for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? <laughs> oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. Oh. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? What have I gotten myself into? She's such a mess. Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. Uh. Misfortune. You're alive and well. That's great. <laughs>